YouTube, what is good? I told you this is going to be the best day one blitz in college football 25. It certainly is. If you are running, if you want to play good defense in this game, you want to be in the 3-3-5 penny formation. We're going to have a full ebook dropping on this defense. It's actually probably out as we speak, but we're going to be dropping it tonight, okay? So depending on when you're watching this video. But this defense is good. I already got a little bit of a mini breakdown on my school page about it to explain why this defense is really good. But I'm going to explain in this video how the blitz works because the blitz is it's going to really open up for you defensively. The other cool part about this formation is that it's going to be able to get the big nickel over G coverage adjustments just stock into the formation, which I personally really, really, really like. Now, a couple things in your coaching adjustments. As you see here at the menu, I can adjust the shells. I want to make sure my shell is on default or cover zero, okay? And then I also like to have auto flip on when running a nickel defense. And then from there, pretty much everything's up to you. Okay, pinch blitz zero. What we're going to do is we're going to press. We are going to shift our defensive line here. In this case, we'll shift them to the right. And then we're going to stand. Basically, as you see, if I stand too far here, my defensive tackle is going to go inside. Um, sometimes the blitz can work like that. As you see right there, it worked pretty good. But what I have found to be consistent, a little bit more consistent for you guys, is you want to make sure that as you see, see, see how the blitz angle changes, I just want to make sure that blitz angle from the nose tackle is outside. It's slanting the outside. And then I'm just going to kind of run at the center, hold left trigger, and you see this blitz is super, super good, okay? Now, the cool part is you can craft different coverages behind the pressure uh, that I find to be really, really effective, uh, such as like those cover three adjustments that I was talking about. Now, another cool part about this defense is you don't just have to send five. So if you want to send like, let's say you want to put this linebacker on the left side in coverage, you can see here, I'll show you the, a, a defense that I would actually run. Something like this is really good, especially against spread sets. And you're going to see a lot of times you're still going to get that scream off the edge. Not, a, not as consistent, but honestly pretty good. Another thing that you can do, because mobile quarterbacks are going to be a big, big deal in this game, you can go ahead and contain. So you're going to contain both sides, and then you're going to go ahead and QB spy that backside defensive tackle. And what you'll see here is this little loop around oftentimes, and you're going to get really good containment uh, from that side. Now, right there, we didn't get any pressure. The other thing that I would say is really important with this defense is making sure that you are uh, sending the spy once you see that that pocket opens up. So you see here, pocket opens up. I'm going to send that spy, and we have that looper coming off the edge. This is by far the best day one defense in college football 25. And if you want to get my entire defensive ebook on this defense, it is available in my school community. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. $10 gets you access to all of my college football 25 offensive ebooks and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.